Hey there, Libra. My name is Trudy. I'm your Portrait Gypsy Angel Medium, and this is your June 2021 reading. I'm using the Manga Tarot. This is applicable for Vedic Sidereal and Western Astrology. Um, this is for Libra Sun, Moon Rising, Venus, Jupiter. I'm recording this pre-Mercury retrograde, but I'm actually having a super... I had to take the day off work to get my mind right. Because I've been dealing with this for a hot minute now. And it's the return. You know, like, during the retrogrades, things come back. The things that you put on the back burner, the things that you didn't want to deal with, the things that you left unfinished. Sometimes friends come back from the past. Sometimes... Could be an ex. Shows up out of nowhere. Uh, so, Libra. I am having quite the day. I don't know about you, but I am definitely full-blown. Mer Mercury retrograde cluster. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, yeah. This is Manga Tarot. I found it. Finally. Yay. And we're using it today. All right, Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. And Cross Watchers, you're welcome to cut that deck. Ooh, bottom of the deck. Ten of Pentacles. So, Libra, I believe that June is going to be a game changer for you. I'm so excited to be a Libra today, okay? Uh, this is talking about a new financial... Closing the old financial chapter and starting a new financial chapter. This is talking about taking ownership of your time, your money, your investments. Uh, this is talking about... It's, it's pretty exciting, okay? Because you're closing a chapter. It's a 10. It's completion. It's... All that in a bag of chips. That's low-key, the undercurrent. You know, like, even though it's going to be a month of full-blown Mercury retrograde, brace yourself if you haven't already felt it. Um, even though that's happening, the undercurrent energy is actually that Libra's getting stuff done. Libra's crossing things off of the list okay so let's go from the top over here knight of wands somebody needs to get their loving on somebody ned neds needs to get their freak on oh my god mercury retrograde's already like affecting my speech this is so frustrating okay yeah so somebody's got to bounce a wow wow somebody's got to get their freak on and that's going to be a good thing. There's going to be a lot of healing energy that comes from the sexual interchange, Libra, in June. I hope that it's not a new person because in a retrograde, I wouldn't recommend starting something new. I would assume that this is the return of somebody who is... Of that energy I call this person mr. or mrs. low-budget Hugh Hefner so if you're mr. or mrs. low-budget Hugh Hefner you need to have one more round on that pony <laughs> or or you're dealing with a mr. or mrs. low-budget Hugh Hefner I don't know which way it is anyway but this person likes to you know breeze in and out of your life they're not there for too long they're not they don't play for keeps. Um, now, you, Libra, on the other hand, you've got the Nine of Pentacles. Look how it's showing up here. The Ten of Pentacles. And you, on your own, all by yourself, you're the Nine of Pentacles. So know your worth. Know your worth this chapter, Libra, because last chapter, I'm getting the vibe that you got shortchanged. You didn't get your Nine Pentacles. The person that you were you know, linking up with or the people that you were surrounding yourself with had less than the nine pentacles. They were not like you. This one is like, Libra's a hot commodity. 
that's it. What else can I say? I mean, she's got the bird on her finger. Like, even, even nature and the animals are in harmony with her. She's got the looks. She's got the money. She's got the moves. She's got the brains. She knows what to do. And I'm only saying she because she is what happens to be on the card. If you're a dude, then you've got the looks, the brains, the money, the moves, everything. So, and you're in harmony with your environment. Like, you could be a dude and have a freaking hawk land on your hand, okay? Uh, doesn't have to be a dainty little bird. It could be a freaking bird of prey, all right? Uh, <laughs> so, oh yeah, from the top, okay. Sorry, I keep wanting to flip the deck. I'm having, ugh. Mercury retrograde. Okay. So we go from the Knight of Wands to the King of Wands. This is really good. I like this. If you're a guy watching this video, then that means that you have reached your king status. You're making that jump that I was talking about. This, uh, the bottom card that I was talking about, the Ten of Pentacles, you finally reach the king status. You're no longer a knight. You're no longer a valiant you know, fighting for the king, you are the king, okay? Vice versa, if you're a lady watching this, you are one boss lady, okay? Because you, you're coming up so dominant in my reading today, Libra. You're coming up so dominant. If you're a Libra lady, you're coming up so dominant that you came up as a freaking king. I love it. I love it. Because you know what? Those ovaries are so, they're so big and beautiful. Yes, you got your girly gonads. I love it. Okay. Um, and so this is you. Like, yeah, there's tough times. There's a lot of people that are out to get you. There's a lot of people who are you know, envious of you and your position, your status, who you are, the way that you carry yourself, all of your accomplishments, all of your undertakings, um, your bravery, your attitude, your stamina. There's so many good qualities to you here and you rise above it all and you keep it going. You keep on moving. You keep moving forward. You have this unstoppable force that comes from within. You're so motivated, Libra. I love this reading is making me really excited because I'm a Libra and I'm excited to be a Libra today. Before the reading, I was kind of moping around. So I'm glad I did the reading. Hey, this is what I needed to do. Okay. Uh, right. <sighs> Let's cut the deck. This is something that's an obstacle. I hate to do this because we're on such a nice high, but like, let's keep it real. I, I got to keep it 100. I cannot just give you all of the, you know, amazing. Yay. I got to give you something that's actually really real. So the obstacle is the Queen of Cups. I don't know. You may have an opponent or this may be an aspect of yourself. You may be battling your own emotions. You could be dealing with somebody who is of a water sign. Water signs would be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Now, I don't know if this is dealing with them in a negative way. But, I mean, it's coming up as an obstacle, so perhaps during the Mercury retrograde, communication with this person is an obstacle. Perhaps during the Mercury retrograde, your emotions are an obstacle. Perhaps it's you that has one of these placements in your chart, okay? Um, this, this, I'm getting a few different timelines, okay? Uh, so, let's pull a card for the outcome. Page of Wands, a messenger, a messenger with a sense of duty, somebody who's easily bored with little staying power. I don't think that this is you, Libra, but somebody's coming your way with a message. I don't know what the message is, so let's, let's pull a clarifier because, oh, this is a message that you have been waiting for. Or the other person has been waiting to give to you um, because blood has been spilled, their regrets, there's, there's regrets, I don't know if it's on your part or their part or both parts. Suddenly this is feeling very romantic. 
<laughs> yeah, so this person's coming in like a baby energy. Maybe in the past they were cocky and arrogant. Now this person, uh, like my good friend Alexis, God rest his soul in peace. He would have said, simmer down. Well, this person right here has simmered the F down, okay? They simmered down. They are in shame. The more they think about what they've done, the more their shoulders descend and their look descends um, because it weighs on their soul so heavily. I don't think this is you, Libra. I think this is the person that you're dealing with last chapter. The person that I was saying that didn't give you, that didn't meet those nine pentacles that you bring to the table. The person that didn't reciprocate. That's what I'm talking about. Ah, uh, that's what I think this is. But hey, I could be wrong. It's up for interpretation. Um, if it resonates, leave me a comment. Even if it's just a freaking emoji, a heart, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. I love you. Love me back. Love yourself. Love everybody around you. Mwah. Bye.